Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date, it is February 10th of 2023. It's uh, 8.30 in the morning. Uh, we just got our, let's see, just got our groceries delivered, a small, very small order, let's see. Very small order of groceries delivered. I just brought them in. I think it was about $95, something like that, but uh, See, 224 packs of Coke, and there's three there, but 224 packs of Coke is $25, $25 I think. Um, as I have probably mentioned before, someplace on my tapes, <clears throat> I used to do a shirtwave, uh, weekly shirtwave, uh, broadcast uh, 30 minutes I believe I recorded it at a radio TV station on a Sunday eventually I started recording it at home without going to the station and uh, every episode I would uh, play one of the uh, sounds of a satellite a signal from outer space, you know. And uh, I also gave the uh, sunspot numbers uh, so that, uh, and the propagation for, I mean, I didn't do the propagation forecast, you know, there was, uh, how can I forget his name? Uh, uh, George Jacobs, I believe. That might be wrong, totally wrong. Maybe that's some guy I worked with years ago. I don't know. But, uh, he did it for the, he did propagation forecast so that uh, engineers and people would know what frequencies to use for transmitting the Voice of America and uh, Radio Free Europe and all that kind of stuff. But he also, uh, you know, gave the sunspot counts and uh, on the sun. And I would, every week, also give those numbers out to amateur radio operators and shortwave listeners and that type of thing. Anyway, um, there is going to be, there is a solar storm warning for Earth today. High chances of solar flare eruptions, says uh, NOAA. Um, Weather Bureau, you know, actually. Uh, on Thursday, a concerning development was seen on the sun where two different sunspots, both unstable, appeared on the Earth-facing side of the sun. Now the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the NOAA, has issued a warning today, February 10th. There is a high chance of an M-class solar flare eruption and a smaller chance of even a severe X-class solar <clears throat> flare explosion. If this does happen, the Earth might suffer <clears throat> devastating consequences of the incoming solar storm. Interestingly, the Earth has already suffered multiple solar flare-related blackouts in the first week of this month uh, that affected the Pacific region. Uh, I think that's about it. I'll put the link to this. By the time you read this, it'll probably be ancient history. Um, okay, what else did I want to do? Um, there was something else. 
Well, let me jump over here and see if it's if it's on CNN or something. You know, if that's where I saw it. Let's see here. Well, let's see. Explosions reported in Ukraine. Death toll rises in Turkey and Syria. Russia fires missile barrage as attacks start to ramp up. Former Vice President Pence has been subpoenaed by the special counsel investigating Trump. Iranian air defense systems are currently in action defending the capital. SpaceX admits blocking Ukraine from using satellite technology. Ukraine asked the Netherlands for F-16 fighter jets. Russia's Wagner mercenary group says it's no longer recruiting convicts. Uh, U.S. officials have disclosed uh, new details about the balloons, China, the China balloon capabilities. Well, heck, all we have to do is since uh, former President Trump said that uh, He had great relationships with the leader of China and uh, USS or uh, Russia and North Korea, and that he actually loved the Korea. You know, the uh, was in love with him. So all we really need to do is just ask former uh, President Donald Trump. I mean, he's not in jail yet, so he'd probably be cooperative or whatever. Maybe they could be part of a little, uh, you know, tell us what your buddy or tell, you know, North Korea and uh, China and Russia to do you a favor, and then maybe we could make a deal and you wouldn't have to go to prison. Let's see. Yes, I'll switch over here. You can see if I'm smiling or not. I'm not smiling. <laughs> okay, um, just got the groceries in. Uh, Alexa, what's the weather forecast? The current weather is 38 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can look for intermittent clouds with a high of 47 degrees and a low of 31 degrees. I don't know if I want to <clears throat> walk down. It's a couple blocks away to the uh, donut shop. And also there's a Brahms there. I could get a bag of donuts or, or a bag of uh, hamburgers or something. I think what I'm going to do right now, I, I don't feel well. <clears throat> I think I'll... Uh, well, I think I'll check. Darlene might decide to make something. We just got in some frozen hamburgers or whatever. I'm not sure. I may walk and go down to uh, the donut shop closes at noon. So I'd like to go down and get some donuts and uh, a bag of burgers from Brahms. <clears throat> but I don't I don't feel all that great in my throat. Yeah, voice is getting me voice is giving out so um, 
anyway, thank you very much for watching. And if we lose communications because of a solar storm, that's going to be that's going to be something. Wonder if Republicans are probably blame Biden Hunter for uh, for reason, you know, for something. I don't know. Thanks for watching.